First tonight, a violent Grand Rapids murder left unsolved for 46 years. But a new film premiering next week chronicles the killing and the hope for solving the case. Shelley Mills was the first of six women murdered in the Heritage Hill neighborhood between 1970 and 1980. 24 News 8's Lindsay McComb will spoke with the filmmaker ahead of its premiere. She's live in studio control tonight with this story. Lindsay. Early in Brian, Heritage Hill Bride, the murder of Shelley Speed Mills will premiere at Wealthy Street Theater next Wednesday. A week from today marks 46 years since someone murdered Mills in her own home. The filmmaker, Dr. David Schock, tells me a decade of work has gone into telling Shelley's story. This project started 10 years ago when I met the victim's mother and she asked me if I'd known that her daughter had been murdered. A brutal attack on a young woman in the Heritage Hill neighborhood. A case still open nearly half a century later. On the morning of September 15th, 1970, Shelley Speet Mill's husband kissed her goodbye and left for his work. Later that morning, she was stabbed 32 times. Now a new film dives into the murder of Shelley Speet Mills and the exhaustive measures police have taken to catch her killer. They followed every lead that they possibly could. Uh, remote leads, and it wasn't just then. It was year after year, decade after decade, and detective after detective. Filmmaker David Schock has spent 10 years on this film. His other projects, like Who Killed Janet Chandler, have led to arrests, something he wants to see with the Mills case. I'm hoping to reach the one person who can tell the police what they need to know to move forward on this case at this time. Somebody knows something. Somebody always knows something. Shelley never got to celebrate her first wedding anniversary. But Shock hopes his film will end the anniversaries since her unsolved murder. I have done the best I possibly can do with this film. I hope it's good enough. I pray it's good enough. And I certainly pray for resolution. And I also spoke to Shelley's brother, Tom, earlier today. He tells me that thinking about the case is, of course, very painful, but he has seen the film and is happy with the way it turned out. He also hopes that this can spark some new leads. And we're putting more information on the film's premiere on woodtv.com. In studio control, Lindsay McComel, 24-Hour News 8.